Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we'll see how commutator will help to produce unidirectional torque in a DC motor through animation. Let's see to it. Here I'm considering a simple loop DC machine with one coil. As I said, simple loop, only I'm having one loop. And we have slip rings here. This slip ring is in connection with this. And this slip ring is in connection with this. The similar structure we have seen for DC generator operation also. Now, as it is a motor, we are giving a DC voltage through these brushes to the slip rings and which will again give it to the conductors. If you observe the current direction, current is going from the positive plate and going into brush number one and brush one to red slip ring and this red slip ring is in connection with red conductor. Again, it's a loop current is coming out. So here current is coming out. Here current is going in. So if you look at the current directions in these two conductors, this is cross and this is dot for the given structure. And I'm giving this animation in the description. You can download and you can view at your free time. Now, we observe the current directions and two poles are given. We know flux flows from north pole to south pole. Now the current direction can be found out by using Fleming's left hand rule. These are flux. Current direction is going inwards. So force is downwards onto this conductor. So red conductor force is acting downwards. Let's come to blue condu black conductor. Flux is this way, current is coming out, so force is upwards. So force acting on a black conductor is upwards and force acting on red conductor is downwards. So it will start rotating in this direction. Here, after some rotation, if you see, this conductor, red conductor force, Let's apply Fleming's left hand rule. Flux is this way. Current direction is inwards. Force is downwards. Now red conductor force is downwards. Black conductor force is upwards. So the direction of rotation is now clockwise. Again, here, downwards. Again, upwards. Again, it will rotate counterclockwise direction. So if you see the actual torque, this coil is actually not moving. It will just oscillate in the middle itself instead of continuous rotation. So what we'll do, we replace these slip rings with commutator, like in DC generator. Now, as it is clear, this red part is connected to this red conductor. This black part is connected to this black conductor. Now as this coil is moving, this commutator will also move. As coil is moving, commutator also moves along. Now if you apply Fleming's left hand rule, flux current force is downward on red and here force is upward on black. It is rotating. If you notice, once this red conductor is crossing this middle region, once the conductor previously was here, now it is here. If you see, previously this red part is in connection with brush 1. Now, this red part is in connection with brush 2. Which means, this commutator is reversing the current directions. Now, current is entering into the black part. 
this black part is connected to the black conductor so current is entering into the black conductor and returning from red conductor through brush to so current direction has changed so again if you notice the instant it crosses this middle part cross it changed to dot again dot is changed to cross likewise which will help you to produce uniform torque so i hope you understand the commutator function in a dc motor thanks for watching the lecture please do subscribe to our channel by clicking below link for more updates thank you